Hey guys, it's D9 here with Camerasharp.com at Rock Canyon Studios, and today we're going to teach you how to edit instruments. It's a really basic thing to do, but it's really, really important to know how to do if you really want to master your productions. Okay, so we're going to start with just a basic electric piano, and this is about how every instrument is going to look when you're editing it. It's just going to have a different user interface. So here we have just a basic chord, but there's so many different things that we can do with it. There's the drive give it a more rock and roll feel. There's the tone to give it really a sharp tone or more of a softer tone. There's different types of drive. A little bit softer, a little bit crunchier. Turn up the bass. You can turn up the treble. And you see there's just so many different things. Turn on a phaser. And you can see how different that sounds than just the original. Sounds much, much cooler if you're going to make some sort of a kind of door or song. At any rate, that's how you edit the classic electric piano. And the thing is, there's a lot of really cool presets here too that you can choose. Where it's already been saved. And you know, there's different details, the pitch, tune, the model, but we're gonna move on from the classic piano and we can see that it is a really similar style when you come to say the ESP. Now this is a polyphonic synthesizer where you can get a lot of retro sounds, but it's just the same. You gotta figure out how everything works. You got the frequency where you can, it's pretty much like the cutoff on a different synth. And then there's the different you just play with it until you like what you hear anyway we're making some Game Boy music now but you can see that there's so many different ways so many different ways to manipulate the sound and really all you do is so you come here you choose your instrument Let's go to the retro synth. You choose that and then there's, if this doesn't open up, if say you're just opening up a project, you just wanna click on those little sliders right there and you have, you have the opportunity to make your own sounds. And then you have all the different defaults here that you can look through. So many different choices. If you don't want to edit it yourself, you can always use these. Super 80s. There you go, there you have it. It's pretty much the way you edit any instrument here on Logic Pro X. And it's an amazing fun time to go through and just really create your own sounds. Well, this is D9 with Camerasharp.com at Rock Canyon Studios, just letting you guys know that you can edit your own sounds and make the coolest stuff and really stand out in the world of production.